Today's video is brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Hugh comes in with a overclocking question. He must be new if he's asking me that. He is building his first PC. It's a 5950X, a 6900XT. It's got the Crosshair 8 Impact. That's a pretty good motherboard. He's got uh, G School Z Royal, 64 gigs of RAM. Should I go for the 3600CL16? Uh, that's 405 or 4000 CL18 415 and what of overclocking oh my goodness uh, there's a lot to unpack here first of all that is some awesome hardware man congratulations you're gonna love it it's gonna be ridiculously powerful and fast um, as far as the RAM goes it's interesting I'm actually about to build a Ryzen 9 5950X system myself. In fact, I just tweeted the morning we're recording this. We're going to show it later on the live stream on Twitter uh, about the parts and components I'm putting together. And I'm putting in Trident Z Royal RGB because that stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, but it's gorgeous. It's very pretty. I and guess. I actually looked at the CL16 versus CL18 uh, 3600. I'm not considering 4000. And here's why you shouldn't consider 4000 either. On Zen 3, or Zen 2 actually, anything over um, 3,800 on the RAM breaks the Infinity Fabric one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Uh. So 3,600 is generally as fast as you want to run. You can, in the BIOS, force above 3,800 a one-to-one -one ratio, but then you are overclocking your Infinity Fabric and running it out of spec. That is an awful 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 idea there's a reason why when you go above 3800 it automatically goes to a two to one ratio and splits it which of course actually slows your system down in normal conditions ddr4 ddr4 4000 on ryzen can actually run slower than 3600 because of the divider yeah now he mentioned cl16 he did now i looked at the cl16 stuff and it's expensive I'm putting in CL18, DDR4 3600CL18. The What's interesting is the 18, the differences are trivial. It's 18, 22, 22, I think 42 on the 18. And on the 16, it's 16, 22, 22, 42. The sub-timings didn't change. All they did is lowered the main timing from 18 to 16, but all the sub-timings stayed basically the same. And it's a bunch more money. It is. I have used a lot of different RAM on both Intel and Ryzen. The real world differences, not when you're hunting, not when you're, if I want to show a difference in RAM speed, you know what I would do? I would load up the seven zip benchmark or a memory test benchmark and show, uh, or Blender can sometimes show a difference in RAM speed as well, the Blender uh, benchmark. And I can go, see, see, there's a difference. It took 27 minutes to run on this tight RAM timing in this configuration, and it took 29 minutes to run on that. See, it saved two minutes. It made a big, big difference. Were you just staring at your screen for 27 minutes doing nothing while it completely occupied your system? You either were multitasking, in which case you minimized it and put it in the background, or you went up and got coffee and went and did something else. The difference in time there is irrelevant if you're not sitting in front of it going, like granny wait in 27 seconds yeah oh it's my gosh. it's that's kind of and, and the and the difference when you get to smaller time scales is trivial and meaningless i would argue that a nicer ssd a nicer case a nicer power supply more storage those are all much more important than whether you get cl16 or cl18 ram it, it if it really made the kind of difference that was meaningful to the average person they would just specify that that's what you should be putting in there. And they don't because it doesn't really matter. In fact, to be completely blunt, if you turn the benchmarks off and you just use the computer, um, on my Ryzen uh, here at the office, um, I've got a Ryzen 7 5800X and a Ryzen 9 5900X. 3200 versus 3600 is 
don't notice it. I mean, I can find a difference if I'm trying to find a difference. If I'm hunting for a difference. Ramp speeds are overblown to the point of crazy. Don't stress about it. And uh, what was his last question? What of overclocking? Yeah. There is no overclocking in a Ryzen 9 5950X to care about. It's um, PBO, uh, uh, Precision Boost Overdrive, will take care of any overclocking. Put a good cooler on it, get a good motherboard, and let it do its thing. Messing around with the settings is pointless. Well, then it just makes it unstable. It makes it unstable, it makes it hot, and it probably does not make it any faster. Hot and loud. Yeah, so skip it. Just good components, turn on XMP, and be done with it. And enjoy your system. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.